You are now watching Metal Gear Survive. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jude here. And today, a um, Metal Gear Survive single player gameplay trailer dropped earlier today. And I just wanted to do a quick reaction of it, give you my impressions. Um, I am a big Metal Gear fan, Metal Gear Solid, or rather, yeah, Metal Gear Solid is my favorite franchise um, in gaming, so I'm pretty critical of it, especially when it's not done by Kojima, so I wanted to go ahead and take a look at this, see if they if they can do any justice to it, because the, the stuff that they've shown us before was pretty subpar, they look like they just took Metal Gear Solid 5's engine and they mapped it to be some generic zombie game whatever let me go ahead and start watching the video and give you my my first reactions on it and my first impressions on it Okay. So pretty much what they're saying is this is an alternate universe pretty much. Um I guess that makes it a little better. They're not shitting on Kojima's <laughs> um already established um lore. So maybe maybe there's some redemption redemption in the works. Okay. I mean, a cheap story, but... Is there a story to this game? Like an end goal? Firearms. Optional. 
This looks like the Afghanistan map. I recommend. Female survivor and free in a nurse's outfit. Okay, this is kind of weird. Right now what I'm seeing is it's almost like they took the idea of FOBs and your mother base, the customization and and what it was used for, uh, um, what essentially you were doing and they just expanded on it to make its own single player game which is kind of strange um, because right now I'm not sure what the story is what is the end goal like why am I playing this is this uh, it's a single player game but it seems more like it's geared towards a multiplayer experience you know I'm not sure how popular these kinds of games are where you know, let's say the FOB experience. Those those were fun in Metal Gear Solid 5, but I had way more fun. And what brought me back to it a lot was the multiplayer aspect that I would be... I, I potentially had the opportunity to play against someone else protecting their mother base. This is more about just survival. Like, you're not attacking other people. Or maybe you can. I don't know. I don't know. Right now, it just seems like they're just expanding upon the FOB system. And instead of you you know, fighting off uh, uh, another player from another base, are you infiltrating another base? You're just dealing with zombies. That is interesting that that you can play with other people. Oh, nice, an open beta. January 21st on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. It comes out February 20. Okay, so first impressions of it. Honestly, I'm gonna remove the Metal Gear name away from it, and it seems okay. It, it doesn't seem like um. It doesn't seem like something crazy that you have to that you have to buy that you have to that you have to try out but 
it seems okay. They basically took the FOB system from Metal Gear Solid 5 and expanded upon it. Now the whole gameplay is, is centered around it where you're pretty much protecting your base, customizing it, you're strengthening the defenses, and pretty much whenever someone or the zombies come to attack, you have to protect your base. And at any given time, you pretty much just have to be prepared for that type of assault. Now, one thing I'm worried about is the story. It doesn't seem like there is one really. Like, oh, okay, when when Skullface uh, destroyed Mother Base, as Mother Base was going down, a wormhole opens up, and you know everybody is sucked into the wormhole, and you're in this alternate universe dimension, whatever you want to call it, and you're dealing with zombies now. Um, oh, I don't even know if you can call this them zombies. I don't. I don't really know what they are. Um, heavily used assets from Metal Gear Solid 5. So, like I said, this feels more like it, it's an expansion rather than a completely new game. I'm not sure what it's going to be priced at. Hopefully, it's not going to be $60 because, really, it shouldn't be $60. This feels, or it seems more like a... I'm going to be very honest. This seems more like a, an add-on. Like a new mode that they could have added into Metal Gear Solid 5. And I'm pretty sure people would have would be okay with just paying what 30 30 40 dollars at most uh, for this type of experience I mean it is a nice add-on you can do co-op with with multiple people and it gives you a, it does give you a, a a new mode something new to do instead of you fi uh, squaring off against other players it gives you the opportunity to team up with players in this FOB type of experience where you guys have to defend it from the incoming threats and pretty much setting everything up so that you guys can survive not too sure not too sure how things are gonna work with the survival element I saw them hunting I'm not sure if you actually need to eat that food like a Metal Gear Solid a Metal Gear Solid um thing where you had to eat food to, to make sure your stamina was up and everything and not sure if that would work for a Metal Gear Solid game today especially in this type of this type of environment I'm not too sure if I would wanna if I would want to be hunting animals just to eat for food and whatnot but then again I, I, I guess I wouldn't be playing the, this type of game if I wasn't into the survival aspect hence the name Metal Gear Survive um, but like I said, it does taking the Metal Gear element out of it doesn't seem like a bad game. Seems okay. Obviously, it's taking from the Fox engine of Metal Gear Solid Five, so it the gameplay should be smooth. It should be smooth. To to be honest, Metal Gear Online is 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 a ton of fun. When I at least when I played it, it was a ton of fun. The controls were smooth and everything. They probably they just had a little bit of um online issues, but. Uh, the engine of the Fox engine is very smooth, very easy to to get a grasp of, and and honestly, like I said, it looks like it'll be a fun experience. Well, <sighs> my mind is just all over the place right now. This is completely different than Metal Gear Solid in the sense that Metal Gear Solid is a story-driven. Heavily story driven, heavily story driven game, and this doesn't seem like that. This seems more like a more like a multiplayer experience. I, I don't if you're if you're going to play the single player, I don't see this holding your attention for a very long time. I feel like the the meat and potatoes of this game, the real enjoyment of it, is going to come from you co-oping with other players. Definitely, like if anything, I wouldn't I wouldn't have been surprised if this was presented as a multiplayer idea. And then they later came in and said, hey, you know, we need to add a single player in there because if we don't have single player. We, we, we can't sell this for $40, which is what we want. Well, $60. I'm going to assume they're going to sell it for $60. I don't know. But I wouldn't consider this a single player experience. I feel like this is more multiplayer. As you saw, literally, like I said, they took all the assets from Metal Gear Solid 5. They had the walkers, all the weapons. The only new weapon that I see is this... um. The stake that you use to, to stab the zombies, I guess, when you don't want to 
you don't want to waste ammo and then you know, you know what? i'm lying they do have different melee melee items they have some different key creatures or different or enemy variety now not to not to take any credit away from from the enemies that they have here but you can tell that they're heavily drawn from um from the Gear solid 5 um zombies or or the infected with the parasites i apologize it's been a long time since i played Gear solid 5 but um they've all they've obviously taken inspiration from the from the parasites in the game now this comes out February 22nd. It has a it has a beta January 18th through the 21st. So I guess we'll well, well I guess we'll see what happens then. Um that's it for today guys. Right now I have mixed feelings. I mean, I'll be honest, I know I'm it, it's not going to be on par with um, Metal Gear Solid even though 5 wasn't that great story-wise. It made me feel like I had a goal. It made me feel like there was something like I had something to accomplish. This game just seems more like it's more you just want to protect your base and that's it. Hopefully they reveal more story elements down the road. Game comes out in two months, they don't have too much time. Um, hopefully there is some type of end goal. Hopefully there is a, a, an antagonist other than the zombies. Because right now it just kind of seems pointless, like there is no story. They just throw you in, they give you an excuse to, to have this type of FOB centered gameplay. But there's no actual goal to accomplish, which is kind of bad because I love or I enjoy games where there is something to do, where there is an end goal, where I can feel satisfied and fulfilled. But then again, I don't know. You guys could be different. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Leave a like and excuse me and subscribe if this is a video that you enjoyed and hit the notification bell if you guys wanted to keep up with my content. Thank you very much. And until next time, guys. Hey. <laughs>